Praise the Lord, everybody. We are grateful to be here among the land of the living just to give God what he is due. And that is all of the glory and all of the honor. I am glad to be here one more time. Free to dance, free to sing, free to lift my hands in worship. Come on, tap those hearts and say, thank God I'm free. Free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. Free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. Oh, free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship, Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. Oh, free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship, Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper. Lord, I'm free. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper. Oh, Lord, I'm free. Oh, come on, lift your hands. Free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Oh, Lord, I'm free. Oh, oh, oh. Free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Woo. Lord, I'm free. So glad to say, free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Woo. Lord, I'm free. Oh, oh. Free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Oh, Lord, I'm free. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord, I'm free. I'm a free worshiper. I'm a free worshiper, Lord. I'm a free
just, it's just a blessing. For such a time as this, let's receive our pastor, our my father in the gospel. Listen, Bishop, listen, Page Senior. Let's receive ye him at this time. Amen. Let us put our hands together and give God praise in the house tonight. We are certainly grateful for all of you that are here. Amen. In the name of the Lord, glad for the ministers of the gospel. Amen. Glad to see mom out here tonight and all of the ushers and everybody that is in the house tonight. Praise the Lord. We're going to go right into the scripture and uh, see what the Lord will have for us to know on tonight. But we want to certainly thank the Lord for the places that we have been and what the Lord has done for us and where the Lord has taken us to. Uh, because we are, we have high expectations of God, and we believe that the Lord is going to take us higher and higher and deeper and deeper in the word of the Lord. And so tonight, praise the Lord, I want you to grab your Bibles, grab your Bibles, and we're going to, we're going to see what the Lord will have for us to know tonight. Thank you, Jesus. These are the days... Praise the Lord that tell who is really, uh, I don't want to say saved, but these are the who has press down in their heart and who has Jesus on their mind. Amen. Has a real, real press. Uh, it's storming on the outside, but amen. It's all right on the inside. In the, in the book of, in the book of, in the book of, um, I want to start on in the book of Matthew, praise the Lord, and then we're going to uh, do, uh, do something great. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27, the book of Matthew 19 and 27. We want to talk a little bit tonight, can we just bow our heads, hallelujah, bow our heads in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for being so good and so kind to us. And you told us in your word, hallelujah, in all our ways for us to acknowledge you and you would direct our path. We told us in your word, Lord, that you are God, hallelujah, that sits high and looks low and see a uh, man uh, where he's standing. Lord Jesus, we want you to spirit, stretch out your mighty hand. Strengthen us tonight. Undo the heavy yoke. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus and bind everything that's not like you. Rebuke the powers of the enemy, Lord, in the name of Jesus and we'll give you glory and we'll give you praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Now, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, from the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 27, uh, let's, let's go there real quick. See what it says. It says something here. Hallelujah. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Can you cut us down a little bit? Praise the Lord. Lower us down just a little bit. Hallelujah. Then answered Peter and said unto them, Behold, we have forsaken all. We have, we have forsaken all. We have gotten to the place that we have forsaken everybody. We forgot about uh, the, the things that we've had at home, the thing that we have built up at home. We have forgot about all of the stuff that we have uh, done at home. Uh -huh. And follow thee. And we are following you. Praise the Lord. We are following you and we have nothing else because we left it at home. We've turned our back on it, and now we are following you. Uh -huh. What shall we have therefore? What is going to happen to us therefore or after this? I want to know what is going to happen to us, praise the Lord, after I've given up everything, I've given up my lifestyle, praise the Lord, and I'm following you. I even give up my profession uh, we, 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 we had a, a lucrative job, a lucrative business going, praise the Lord. We were doing fishing and it was lucrative. At least we was making a living. But now we have given all that up and we're following you. And what shall we have after this? Hallelujah. Have you ever thought about it, praise the Lord, that some of us have had lucrative business and, and transactions going on? And we had nothing to worry about. But when we started following the Lord Jesus Christ, that was the only thing we had to look at. Hallelujah. Everything else, the, the, the person that we had um, uh, doing business with and locked up and gone home, praise the Lord, the way we used to get favors from, uh, that individual had disappeared on us. And the only thing I have left is Jesus. Hallelujah. And I would like to know what is at the end, what am I going to have? Can I draw social security? Praise the Lord. Can I, can I, uh, uh, is there any way I can go get a favor from? Uh, what is going to happen to me after this? Read, sir. And Jesus said unto them. Jesus said unto them. Verily I say unto you. Verily, verily I say unto you. That ye which have followed me. That you have which has followed me. In the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory. Now, praise the Lord. Here is what we wanted to talk about tonight is regeneration. Regeneration. If you followed me in the regeneration, the regeneration you followed me. In other words, you've done what I told you to do. Praise the Lord. Regeneration uh, simply means to be renewed. It means to reconstitute. It means uh, to start all over again. It means to start afresh. It means, praise the Lord, to come alive. We have been, we have, we have been, uh, or, 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 or better yet, we can, we can say we have been spiritually reborn or, 
or we had a spiritual rebirth. Hallelujah. We have been born again. Now, in this, um, um, in this uh, regeneration, it means, praise the Lord, that we're starting something off afresh. And Jesus says unto, unto his disciples, he says, what did he say here? That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, you that have followed me in the regeneration, you that have been born again, you that have been renewed in your knowledge again, you that have put on Christ, hallelujah, when the Lord sit in his throne, when there come in a day that Jesus will sit on the throne as the God of God and the Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. They're coming a day that Jesus, hallelujah, will become all in all. Hallelujah. And when I sit on that throne, throne means power. Thrones mean authority. He's sitting in authority. He's ruling from the throne room. He's on. He's in the chair. A uh, read, sir. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones. You will also sit upon twelve thrones. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And you're going to be judging the twelve tribes of Israel. I'm not going to leave you out there by yourself. Praise the Lord. But if you've been following me, if you've been with me in the hard times and in the good times, praise the Lord, when I sit on my throne, then you're going to have a throne too. Praise the Lord. You're going to be able to judge, um, praise the Lord, and uh, 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 you're going to be able to judge. You're going to be able to judge angels and, praise the Lord, and, and the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, let's go, hallelujah, let's go to the book of, of Titus chapter 3, hallelujah, and verse 4. Uh, John, uh, Titus chapter 3 and verse 4, hallelujah. Read. But, but after the kindness and love of God, um, our Savior toward man appeared. Hold on just a minute, praise the Lord. Um, start at the third verse, start at the third verse. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Now, we were foolish when we was not following after the Lord. We were foolish, praise the Lord, when we did not accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. We were foolish, hallelujah, hallelujah, when we said no to the Lord. And the word no means you reject what he had to offer at that particular time. And w one of the reasons why we rejected it was because a lack of knowledge. We didn't know exactly who he was. And we were not willing to give up what we had already in our hand. Now, when you're not willing to give up what you have in your hand and you continually to push the Lord Jesus Christ away from you, then you will never be in the regeneration uh, of the nation and also the regeneration of the church and the people of God. Read, sir. Disobedient. Disobedient. Deceived. Deceived. Serving divers lusts and pleasures. And, and this is what we were doing. We were serving divers lust and pleasures. Hallelujah. We, we did not suffer. Our flesh never suffered. We decided to give the flesh what it needed or what it wanted. Hallelujah. Whatever we desired, we went for it. And we got what we wanted for out of life. Hallelujah. To satisfy us. You have a lot of, you have a lot of uh, 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 people in the world out there are not really suffering like we are suffering. They, they satisfy their flesh. Hallelujah. But we are the people of God. Hallelujah. Who we reject the desires of the flesh. 
Hallelujah. We say no to the devil because we have greater expectation than what the flesh is going to bring. The satisfaction of the flesh only brings satisfying of our flesh. It doesn't do anything with our spiritual man. And the only thing it does with the spiritual man is put him further and further in debt with the Lord Jesus Christ or in trouble with the Lord Jesus Christ. But we as a people of God, hallelujah, must believe, hallelujah, that what we have is greater than what's in the world. Uh, read, sir. Living in malice and envy. Living in malice and envying. Praise the Lord. We envied people. We envied people. In, in, the, in other words, you dislike folk. Praise the Lord. And now the, uh, the, the, the scriptures is right. Hallelujah. The Bible said, if any man say that he have no sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. There are people in the world that you dislike because you don't understand them. Sometimes you don't understand them. Sometimes you don't like the cologne they're wearing. Sometimes you don't like the way they think. Hallelujah. And uh, therefore, we have the right to dislike them or we do dislike them. But that doesn't make the word of the Lord of none effect. We have got to, we can't live like that. Hallelujah. The motions of sin already worketh in us. Hallelujah. And we got to put an end to the motions of sin. Read, sir. Hateful and hating one another. Hateful, hateful, hateful and hating one another. Come on, son. Come on. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, but, but toward men look, appears. Look, praise the Lord. That part of our life has passed. That part of our life has passed. And after that part of our life has passed, we came into the part of regeneration. Praise the Lord. After that, but after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior towards man, appeared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After you have done everything that was foolish, after you have uh, disobeyed God, after you had uh, done everything you possibly could do in the world, now you're on the Lord's side. Now the kindness, hallelujah, and the love of God, hallelujah, our Savior will appear to man, hallelujah. Uh, it will appear. It, you're going to, in other words, what he's saying here, you're going to pro you're going to start producing uh, the fruit of kindness. You're going to be producing the fruit of love. You're going to be producing the fruit of mercy. Hallelujah. You're going to be producing uh, stuff that, uh, that the spirit of the Lord is made up of. Hallelujah. Read, sir. Not by works of righteousness, which not, we have done. Not by works of righteousness now, which you have done. Not that you, you didn't get there because of works of righteousness. You, you didn't come into the Lord because, hallelujah, you was righteous. You, you didn't come into the Lord because you love your enemy. You did not come into the Lord, praise the Lord, because you love the church. No, that was not, that was not the thing that brought you in. That was not the thing that you was in. Read. But according to his mercy, he saved us. But, but, According to the mercies of God, he saved us. Now, mercy means God unmerited favors. God had favor on you, hallelujah, even in your sins, even in your wrongdoing. He had mercy on you. Praise the Lord. And that's the thing that saved us, the mercies of God. If the Lord had a used uh, uh, justice on us and none of us would have been here tonight 
hallelujah, but because of his mercy, hallelujah, which he had on us, hallelujah, amen. That is the thing that brought you into the Lord. Once you start thinking about how good God is to you, then you want to do something towards him and to make him happy, hallelujah. But you have to come into this knowledge, hallelujah. I thought about, hallelujah, I had almost died. I had almost got killed. I had almost uh, ran, to, praise the Lord, in a ditch. But I thought about the goodness of God, how God stepped between me and the accident, hallelujah, and would not allow the accident to have it way in my life, hallelujah, praise the Lord, because if I had died at that particular time, I would have went to hell, but God, hallelujah, thank the Lord, when, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, praise the Lord, I think about how his mercy saved me, praise the Lord, and when you think about how the the mercies of the Lord appears, hallelujah, out of all the bad things you've done, out of all the nasty habits you had, and the Lord still have mercy on you, praise the Lord. It causes something in you to, to want to give God the glory and tell him how much you love him. Oh, praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Read, sir. By the washing of regeneration. Now, praise the Lord. And that came by the washing of regeneration. Now, here we're going to get into another um, medical term. And the medical term that we want to get into is, hallelujah, uh, we are, we needed, we went through heart surgery. Hallelujah. We have heart surgery. Every saint of God who is saved tonight has experienced heart surgery. Hallelujah. Every saint of God, hallelujah, that is saved tonight has gone through heart surgery. No, praise the Lord. You didn't come to the Lord, hallelujah, um, with your old heart, hallelujah. No, that heart has to be changed because when you came to the Lord, you came to him with a heart, hallelujah, a stony heart. Praise the Lord. You had a stony heart. Your heart was full of stone. That means you had a hard heart. Hallelujah. But the word of the Lord broke that heart down. Praise the Lord. The word of the Lord is like a hammer that beats upon the rock. Praise the Lord. And if it don't break the rock or uh, uh, bust the rock in the beginning, it keep on hitting the rock and chipping stuff off the rock. Praise the Lord. And that means, praise the Lord, I'm breaking your heart down. And the only thing that will break your heart down down is the word of the Lord. That thy word, O oh God, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and it's a light unto my pathway. The word of the Lord, praise the Lord, is a thing that's going to bring you out and it's going to bring you to a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. A heart, praise the Lord, that can be controlled. A heart that can be, uh, uh, let me just show you something else before we get the heart that operate, hallelujah. A heart that is filled, uh, uh, it, it gives you, uh, let me see, it gives you the heart that we're talking about is an open heart to the gospel, hallelujah. That's take it away all of the hardness and the disobedient and brings you in obedient to the truth. Hallelujah. It takes away the stuff that's been holding you back for a long time. It takes away, hallelujah, the stuff, hallelujah, glory to God, that's been stopping you from enjoying the Lord a long time. Uh, some of us, praise the Lord, uh, didn't really experience life until we came to the Lord. Now, you was living before, but you wasn't experienced life in its fullness. When you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, you can enjoy life 
at his fullness. Hallelujah. That means praise the Lord. If I die tonight, I don't have to worry about uh, where my soul is going to be. Praise the Lord. I have to uh, walk the floors all night long. I can go home and lay down and have a good night rest because I know it's all right anyhow. The Lord is going to make it all right. Hallelujah. Mm, praise the Lord. God, I feel your presence. Read, sir. Read, sir. And the renewing of the Holy Ghost. And the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, God has renewed me. He, he renewed me in the Holy Ghost. Uh, renewed me. Praise the Lord. In the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He brought me to a place, hallelujah, where I could get more joy than I ever had in my life. He brought me to a place where I can have an assurance that he is are all in all. Praise the Lord that there is one Lord, there is one faith, and there is one baptism. He brought me to the assurance, hallelujah, that if this old world pass away, my soul will rest at ease with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought me to the place that though you slay me, yet will I trust him. All the days of my appointed time will await till my change come. Weeping may endure for a night or so, but joy is going to come in the morning. Oh, bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen here. Mm. Heart surgery. The heart surgery. And let's turn to the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 6. The heart surgery. We're going to have to have heart surgery. That old stuff that you had uh, bedded in your heart. Praise the Lord that you were better than anybody else or you know more than anybody else. Pray, you got to get rid of that. Praise the Lord because you're not no better than nobody else. If you cut every one of us in here that is alive, we're going to bleed red. Hallelujah. If we're going to stay alive, we're going to have to draw in the breath of God. Hallelujah. So nobody is better than nobody else. You might have more money than I have. Praise the Lord. But I got God. Hallelujah. You may have a better home than I have, but I got God. I got an eternal home. I got a place to go when I leave here. Hallelujah. And it's going to be all right anyhow. Mm, hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 6. Read how. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart. And the Lord thy God will circumcise your heart. The, the word circumcise means to cut away unwanted flesh. That's why, praise the Lord, this was the seal or this was the sign of people, hallelujah, back under the law when they were serving the Lord Every male had to be circumcised. He had to be, the, the uh, unwanted flesh had to be cut away. Hallelujah. So then, praise the Lord, uh, the scripture says, God is going, in these last days, he going to circumcise our heart. Now, praise the Lord, the outward uh, circumcision on the outside doesn't mean anything after the law was diminished on hallelujah out on calvary remember when the lord said and it is finished praise the lord the law ruling and guidance was finished hallelujah now praise the lord we are under the rule and guiding of mercy praise the lord we are here under grace hallelujah the bible said hallelujah for the law was given by moses but grace and truth good god from zion came by jesus christ hallelujah and that is a thing that's supposed to rule us now grace and truth and if you want to live you got to get over in the truth if you want to survive you got to walk with the lord in truth hallelujah mm, hallelujah the bible said praise the lord they that worship the lord must worship him in spirit 
and in truth. Hallelujah. If you don't get in the truth, you can't worship the Lord. If you don't get in the spirit, praise the Lord, you can't worship him. You got to get in the spirit to worship God. Now, praise the Lord, you can praise him and not in the spirit. You can praise him, not in the truth. But if you're going to worship him, you got to get in the spirit and in the truth. Good God from Zion. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, Thy word, O oh God, is truth. The word of the Lord is truth. So if you want God to accept you, you get over there in the truth. And the truth is, Hallelujah. You got to be regenerated. You got to go through the process of being regeneration. Hallelujah. Read, the, read son. And the heart of thy seed. And the heart. I want to save you. And I want to save your seed. Your children. Those that are your family. Those that are of your household. Those that are of your kinfolk. Those, praise the Lord, that is in uh, your family line. I don't want you going to heaven and leaving these folk behind. I want to do a work in your life. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. He's so good, y'all. Praise the Lord. He, want, he don't want you up there by yourself. He wants you to bring your children and your family and your brothers and your sisters. Hallelujah. Now, when you go home tonight, you start talking about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. And when you start talking about the goodness of the Lord, hallelujah, something on the inside will register with your family. Praise the Lord. Now, now all of them know they know that they are sinners. They know they don't have no God. They know, praise the Lord, that they are wretched and undone. Praise the Lord. They know that. You don't have to tell them how bad they are, but tell them how good Jesus is. If you tell them, hey, come on, see how good Jesus is, you can make it, praise the Lord, and you can get somebody to listen to you. Praise the Lord. Tell them that he was dead, but now he's alive forevermore. Praise the Lord. And he's sitting on the throne in heaven. The Bible said that Jesus, hallelujah, when he left here, he went, he rose uh, from the dead. Hallelujah. And when he rose, when he was in the resurrection, the Bible said he led captivity, captivity, and gave gifts unto men. And now he sat down on the right hand of the Father. Oh, good God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And while he's sitting there, he's administering uh, grace to you and I. Hallelujah. He's handing out mercy to you and I. Praise the Lord. He's giving, hallelujah, us another chance. You should have been cut off when you was caught in the bed with that individual. You should have been cut off but God extended mercy to you praise the Lord you should have died when you violated the laws of God but God had mercy on you and gave you another chance and told you and I come unto me all ye that are labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest though your yoke be holy oh my God wait a minute wait a minute praise the Lord hallelujah read son read son to love the Lord thy God with to, all thine heart. To love the Lord thy God with all your heart. And with all thy soul. Now, praise the Lord. When you get him, you're going to love him with all your heart, with all your soul. And what? That thou mayest live. That thou mayest live. You're going to love God. And I am persuaded that we have a church full of gores, but not regenerated people. Hallelujah, because when you regenerated, you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and everything you have within you, love Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, you don't love the individual if you never want to be in their presence. When you love somebody, you want to be in their presence. You want to hear what they have to say. Hallelujah, your mind is open. Hallelujah. Good God from Zion, I feel the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Praise the Lord. When you love somebody, you just want to hear what that individual has to say. You just want to be in the presence. Something about their presence, hallelujah, illuminates you. It lifts your burden. It undo your yokes. If I can get in their presence, praise the Lord, I can feel a little more at ease. I can accomplish what I want to accomplish if I can just get in their presence. That when you love the individual, oh my God, hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. 
Reads. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses now, upon thine the, enemies. If you if you do that, praise the Lord. God, the curse that was on you, God is going to move that curse. He's going to move it out of the way. How do you remember you worked so hard to accomplish so many things and never accomplish it? God is going to take whatever was on you that was stopping you from reaching your goal. He going to give it to your enemy. Praise the Lord because you are supposed to be successful. You are supposed to, hallelujah, be matured. You supposed to prosper. Hallelujah. And be, this is what the words say. I would to God that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. God wants you to prosper. Hallelujah. God wants you to prosper. It is not God's will for you to fail. You can't fail with the Lord Jesus Christ. He going to bring you out every time and he'll show you where your enemy at and he'll show you what's going on and he'll open your mind to what's holding you back. And my people, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face, turn from their wicked way. Then would I hear from heaven and I would heal the land. Oh my God. All right. Let's turn briefly. Mm, hallelujah. Let's turn briefly. Turn briefly. Turn briefly. Turn briefly uh, to the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, stay with that from just a little bit. Uh, chapter 10. Chapter 10 and verses. Uh, uh, 16, verses 16. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart. Now, hold on just a minute. Praise the Lord. Circumcise, therefore, the, fore, the foreskin of your heart. What, what he's trying to get us to see, that we have got to get a heart of flesh. We got, the, the, the word flesh doesn't mean what we, in this particular scripture, doesn't mean uh, what we think it does. It simply means a heart of flesh means that I can feel something. That I can feel my brothers and sisters. I understand what they're going through. Hallelujah. I, I am in agreement, hallelujah, that they feel what they feel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I can understand what they're going through. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So uh, we got to circumcise that old hard heart. We got to chip away at that old heart and get to the place where we can understand, hallelujah, one another when we're going through hard times and when we're going through trials. Don't be so hard that you can't feel your brothers and sisters when they're going through some stuff. You got to be able to feel my problem. You got if if you're going to help me get through here, hallelujah. You can't feel like hallelujah that I am a no good for nothing all the time. Sometimes things has happened to cause me to be in the shape that I'm in, hallelujah. And sometimes those things that cause me to be in the shape I'm in, I had nothing to do with it at all. Praise the Lord! It just came upon me, and I was under. I was not in control of me. If, listen here, hallelujah. When the devil entered Judah, hallelujah, who betrayed the Lord, hallelujah, the Bible said that the devil entered Judah, meaning, praise the Lord, Judas had no control over the enemy. The devil just come on in, hallelujah. So sometimes the enemy just come on in, hallelujah, and, 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 and take over, hallelujah, and you have no control. So you need some help to get out of this glory. Hallelujah. This is glory to God. That's why the Bible lets us know that ye that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Hallelujah. When you, when you run up to somebody that is weaker than you, do not criticize them, but help them to overcome what they're going through. Lord Jesus, help us tonight. Mm, hallelujah. Read, sir. And be no more stiff-necked. And be no what? No more stiff-necked. Uh-huh. For the Lord your God is, is, is God of gods. Now, I, I want you to know the God that we serve is the God of gods. In other words, there's nobody above him. He don't have to go in 
uh, and have a conference call if he wants to bless you. Hallelujah. He don't have to go in and get somebody to agree with him that he's going to bring you out. Hallelujah. He don't have to get go in, praise the Lord, and ask the angels, hallelujah, uh, what about such and such a one? Uh, can I do them good today? Hallelujah. He is God. He is the Lord of lords. He's the God of God. He can do what he wants to do when he gets ready to do. Hallelujah. And nobody can make him change his mind once he set his mind on blessing you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When he get ready to bless you, glory to God, he can do it all by himself. He don't need an angel for a system. Hallelujah. He don't need nobody to okay, hallelujah, hallelujah, what he's going to do. When you get ready to heal you, he don't have to call, hallelujah, a triunion or a company of people to decide whether I'm going to heal brother so-and-so or not. Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. He decides it all by himself. And in the midnight hour, he comes to your rescue. Hallelujah. Read, sir. A great God. A great God. A mighty and a terrible. And a mighty, terrible God. Hallelujah. God is terrible to those who is not in agreement with him. You remember the word says amen? Hallelujah. The word says amen or the words that says amen. The word amen means so let it be. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord, when God uh, says a thing, you are supposed to say amen, hallelujah, amen, because ain't nothing else you can do about it. You may not like it, but you got to say amen, so let it be, hallelujah. God is going to let his will be done whether you like it or whether you don't like it. That's his will. Uh, turn briefly to the book of, hallelujah, Lord, my time is getting away from me, hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, mm, hallelujah. God wants to, um, he wants to do something for you. He wants to give you, hallelujah, a heart, hallelujah, operation. He's going to heal your heart. He's going to incline your heart to obey. Hallelujah. God is the only one that can give you a heart of inclination uh, so it will be inclined to obey whenever God says. He can soften your heart up to the place, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, that you can't do wrong even if you wanted to do wrong. I have been to the place that I wanted to eat but couldn't eat. I wanted, praise the Lord, so bad, I even went to the store and bought my food, hallelujah, sat down uh, with my water or tea or coffee, praise the Lord, sat down at the bar stool and I was, uh, uh, took my uh, knife out and my fork, stuck it in the food and still couldn't eat it, hallelujah. And that's, that's when the Lord is working with you, hallelujah, and he's working with a soft heart, hallelujah. God will not allow you because he knows right uh, two hours from now, you're going to go through a great test of your life. And if you're full, you can't handle the test. You got to be, hallelujah, you got to be right with God to handle the test. So the Lord brings you to this place, hallelujah, and even if you could eat, he won't let you eat. Lord have mercy. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus. Let's turn briefly uh, to the book of Philippians chapter, no, no, glory to God, hallelujah. Now, Philippians, uh, the, the, um, I'm sorry. The, the book of Colossians, hallelujah, chapter 2 and verse 11. Um, I'm trying to get through here, but I don't, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get through here or not. Read, sir. In whom also ye are circumcised. In whom also you are circumcised. Now, here is the way the Lord does us. He did it to the Jew, praise the Lord, at that particular time when there was under the law he circumcised them uh, from the outside. Hallelujah. He did it from, he cut off the unwanted or unnecessarily uh, or, or flesh. That what was he doing? He was preserving his people from different diseases that would come to destroy them. And when you get circumcised, 
then you would know that you are a worshiper of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So then in these days and times, he says what, son? In whom also you are circumcised. In with, whom you are circumcised. With the circumcision made without hand. With the circumcision that is made without hand. This circumcision, women can receive this circumcision also. Before, under the law, only men receive circumcision. But under grace and truth, hallelujah, everybody, women and men, receive circumcision. He circumcised them, read, son. In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh. In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh. Whatever sin you was in or was out to get you, you had to put this off. Hallelujah. And you could only you can only commit sin in the flesh. <laughs> no have mercy. You can't commit sin in the spirit. You can only commit sin in the flesh. Lord Jesus, I, I want to say that again because some of y'all, uh, hey, you can only commit sin in the flesh because the sin, for, because the flesh is contrary to God and cannot be subject to the spirit of the Lord. And praise the Lord, it will never uh, come to the will of God. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord, then you can only commit sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. Now, if you don't understand what's going on, maybe you need to take, take a little uh, listening in the spirit to see what's going on. Hallelujah. Because sometime in our form of worship, hallelujah, and another person come in with another form of worship, it may sound foreign to you, but don't condemn a thing before you know what it is going on. Praise the Lord, have mercy. Read, sir. In putting off the body, the sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ. By pulling off the body or the sins of the flesh. Read, sir. By the buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen hold, with him. Hold on, hold on a minute. Praise the Lord. Now, this is the way you pull the sin off. By Bearing with him in baptism. Buried with him in baptism. I do not want to get tied up into this. But praise the Lord. This is not, this is not um, natural baptism. This is not the one in the book of Acts chapter 2.38. This baptism. Buried with him with baptism. Praise the Lord. It means that you are buried with him spiritually. Praise the Lord. The spirit of the Lord covers you. When you're baptized uh, in the spirit or when an individual is baptized, whenever they are baptized, they, whenever they go in uh, to and it baptizes them, it means it covers them. Praise the Lord. And gets all into their clothes and they get all wet up. Naturally so, when you get baptized, naturally so, when you go down in the water, you come up a wet soul. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Everything on you is supposed to be wet because you went under the water. You was covered under the water. Now, this one, praise the Lord. Buried with him in baptism. That means, praise the Lord, the spirit of the Lord. The Bible says, hallelujah. The Bible says, told, Jesus tells his disciples, go to Jerusalem and wait up there until ye be endured with the spirit of the power of God. Now, the word endure means to come all over you, to surround you, to cover you, praise the Lord, to fill you. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going through some stuff and you can't be standing up here empty. You're going through here. You're going to get into some stuff. Hallelujah. And if you're not, uh, if you're not fit for the journey, you ain't going to make it. 
the devil is a very powerful thing, hallelujah, and except you are filled with the spirit, you can't make it. The journey is too great. The valley is too deep. The mountains are too high. You need the Lord Jesus Christ. There's some stuff you can only go through if you are baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And uh, I, I, I want to add this one, praise the Lord. Temptation is great. Hallelujah. Amen. You say, well, I can do this. I can, I can do this. No, you can't do that. Hallelujah. The flesh will not be able to subdue or go through if the temptation is great. Because the, 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 the temptation can be greater, the power of the temptation can be greater, hallelujah, than the power of the flesh. And the only match for that is that you have to be endured with power from on high. Hallelujah. If you are endured with power from on high, if you don't believe it, ask Peter. Peter had the keys to the kingdom of God. When Peter denied the Lord Jesus Christ, remember he had had the keys already. Praise the Lord. Jesus had told him in the garden, and praise the Lord, said, flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you, but my Father, which is in heaven. He revealed, that you, and he said to Peter, I'm going to give you the keys. Hallelujah. Whoever you bind in earth, it will be bound in heaven. Whoever you loose in earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, praise, what I'm trying to get you to see, praise the Lord, when Peter got, when the pressure came on Peter, when he was uh, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the fire, at the um, little fire that they had on the outside of the courtroom. Hallelujah. And there Peter was warming himself by the fire. And while he was warming himself at the fire, there was a lady coming and asked him, say, aren't you one? And he started cussing and swearing. Hallelujah. Of course, she asked him three times. Uh, the the uh, power of temptation is very hard if you ain't really ready for it. But after Peter received the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, he said, now I'm not worthy to die like my Lord, hallelujah, with my uh, uh, head up and uh, my feet, uh, praise the Lord, uh, uh, nailed together and my arms stretched out. So I'll tell you what y'all do since you're going to kill me. Just hang me upside down. Put my head down and my feet up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I'm ready to die. Paul said, though you slay me, yet will I trust him. Praise the Lord. What I'm saying to you, when you get really fixed, hallelujah, nothing can deter you. You will prefer dirt, death, hallelujah, than to take back what you said. I said to us some, sometime now, praise the Lord, I said to, amen, if you're going to, uh, if you, I will, there's some things I will not do. Hallelujah. And, and you have to come to this knowledge. If you have not found something that you're ready to die for, then you've got to keep on searching. You've got to find something that you're ready to die for before you give it up. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Listen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, read, sir. Wherein also you are risen with him, Wherefore, you are risen with him through faith of the operation of God. Through the faith of operation of God. When the preacher pushes you under the water and say, I therefore baptize you, uh, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He does, that's all he can do is put you under the water. The operation takes place, hallelujah, uh, for the believer of what he believes in God. I believe going down in water, hallelujah, I can get loose from my sins. I believe, praise the Lord, that the Lord is my Lord and he's my God and he's my soon coming king. I believe that, hallelujah. And so these, uh, praise the Lord, ingredients works with uh, your faith. And when your faith, hallelujah, works with it, you come up a new creature in Christ Jesus. What happened? Down in the water, something took place. Hallelujah. 
Did the preacher have anything to do with it? No, all he did was baptize you. He can't, he can't forgive sins. He can't wash away your sin. It is, it is the faith you have in God. Praise the Lord. That's the thing that does it for you. Hallelujah. I can lay hands on you tonight, and the Lord can heal your body. Hallelujah. But I didn't heal you. It was the Lord that did the job. You felt like that if I lay my hands on you, you were going to get healed. Hallelujah. When I laid hands on you, your faith connected with Jesus. Hallelujah. Because that's what you believe. And if you believe it, it can happen tonight. Hallelujah. Your faith can connect with something. Hallelujah. You can even lay your hands on the radio. You can lay your hands on the uh, apparatus that you're looking at. Hallelujah. And when you lay hands on that apparatus, you believe it, that the connection is made. Did the apparatus heal you? No, it was the faith that you had in the Lord that made the connection. Mm, 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 mm. Praise the Lord. Uh, Rita, who hath raised him from the dead? Who has raised him from the dead? I believe that he was raised from the dead. And if you don't believe that Jesus was raised from the dead, you can never be saved. You got to believe that Jesus was ro was raised from the dead. One more uh, scripture and we're getting up out of here. Hallelujah. Um, um, Psalms 51. Oh, all right. While you get in Psalms 51 and verse and verses um, and verses two, listen, in the book of John, in the book of John, John, I'm sorry, in the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five and verse seventeen, the book of Saint, uh, the book of first, Second Corinthians, chapter five and verse seventeen. Hmm. The book of if any man be in Christ, be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is a new creature. Old things are passed Old away. Old things are passed away. Behold. Behold. All things are become All new. All things are become new. The word behold means look. Everything is new. You got to lose that old nature. Once you use, lose that old nature, everything becomes new. You you can't be in Christ and still think like you thought before you met Christ. You can't be in Christ, hallelujah, and still doing the same deeds you was doing before you met Christ. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things come brand new. Um, first verse. Psalm. Have mercy upon me, O God. Now listen what this writer saying. Lord, I want you to have mercy on me. I want you to have mercy on me. All of us are products of mercy. Praise the Lord. All of us, praise the Lord, has a certain amount of mercy on us. If God would have used justice, we wouldn't have made it. But he had mercy on us. Praise the Lord. Have mercy on us. Uh huh. According to thy loving kindness, I I don't want you to do it, praise the Lord, just because I said it, but because of your loving kindness, your love and kind, not my love, but your love, your agape love, and your kindness, because the agape of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah, love is as strong as death. That means I never run out of love. Praise the Lord. So the Lord never runs. You that runs out of love, that wasn't God love. That was something else. Praise the Lord. That wasn't God's love. Read, sir. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies. All right. God bless you. My time is out and my time is gone. 
Everybody, bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. For you are such a good God. You're such a mighty God. We give you praise tonight and we give you adoration. We look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from you who made the heavens and the earth. There's somebody, Lord, listening to us tonight. Bring them out, deliver them, set them free, make them whole. In the name of Jesus, you are a good God. You are a mighty God. You're so tender, loving, and caring for your people tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Tonight, we thank you, and we glorify you, and we give you glory. Tis our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together and give God praise. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father, through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Elder Brian C. Greaves, Jr., and I am a proud, partnered, pastor, servant, and friend here at the Greater Highway Deliverance Ministries, where our presiding prelate is His Grace, Bishop Liston Page Sr., Vice Presiders, Bishop Liston Page II, as well as Bishop Gerald Odom. Listen, I have an opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm honored to sit here and excited to sit here and share with you this exclusive information that is to come from the Greater Highway Deliverance Ministries. I'm honored that they would allow me to sit in this position to be able to be a key point man here at this evangelism and outreach department. They have some incredible news that is coming and I'm simply here to give you information about what's to come. now. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to give you a second to get your pen, to get your iPhone, to get your iPad, or whatever scheduling apparatus you may utilize to schedule your events so that you are in the know as to what we're doing here at the Greater Highway Deliverance Ministries. Now, I'm under strict orders from, from the board of, of, of evangelism and outreach, not to tell you too much information about who's going to be on our ticket for our evangelism and outreach conference. But I'm gonna give you this, if you listen to me and follow my instructions, you'll be in the know. If you go right now, or you don't wanna leave the service, go later to www dot ghdm national dot com that's right ghdm national dot com let me do it again ghdm national dot com right here against the screen that's where you can find it and register listen don't just give me no half form of information fill out the complete form put your name Put your birthday, put your email, and all the requested information that's there. Because watch this. If you can do that for me, you will receive exclusive pre-released conference highlights. That's to come on, oh, I forgot to tell y'all the day. June the 23rd and the 25th. That's right. June the 23rd and the 25th. Our theme is Casting the Vision. Our desire here at the Evangelism and Outreach Department is to train, equip, and empower our local churches that are partnered within this organization. That's right, we are here to serve you. So do me a favor, register right now. We're casting the vision, June 23rd, 25th. Be there.